Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Ignorant Intellectual on Media. Today, I thought we'd continue with uh, my film library. We should be on the P's in the uh, director section of my library, since the last video was M and, sorry, N and O. So let's start. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to, after Frank Oz, we got Alan J. Pakula. And that would be... First up is Sophie's Choice. Quite a depressing film. If you have not seen it, if you like depressing films, watch it. The Parallax View by Warren Bay. Warren Beatty. Man, my mouth's not working today. All right. We got All the President's Men. This is what was about Watergate, wasn't it? If I remember, I watched this back in the 80s. All right, next up after that is Park Chen Wook or Chen Wook. Chen Wook Park. All right, who's the one that did this film? One of the greatest films of all time. Uh, arguably the greatest Asian film of all time. Extremely, extremely good. All right. And Sympathy or Mr. Vengeance. All right. The next up after that is Alexander Payne. All right. Which should start off with The Descendants, right? So we got The Descendants. Nebraska. And the film that made me an Alexander Payne fan, Sideways. It's an extremely good film. Sandra O oh is in it, the Canadian. All right. We've got Downsizing, which is an interesting movie as well, if you haven't seen it about shrinking people in order to save the environment. Sam Peckinpah. All right, so Convoys first. Chris Christopherson. Then I found this. Sam Peckinpah, the legendary Westerns collection. It has four DVDs in it. And they are Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, The Wild Bunch, The Ballad of Cable Hogue, and ride the high country. All right. Put that back. Let me actually have the wild bunch again on Blu ray. We got the Osterman weekend. Hard to see that with the lighting. All right. We got Junior Bonner, Steve McQueen film. Major Dundee. And then I think next up is Wolfgang Peterson, right? Yep. All right. So next up is Wolfgang Peterson. Then, all right. And he did The Never Ending Story. But he did not do The Never Ending Story 2. That was done by George Miller. Since I clucked Wolfgang Peterson, I put it there. All right. His most famous movie is probably this one, Das Boo. All right. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Unless you're claustrophobic, anyways. Um, then who did this one? Air Force One. we got 
Horror Film Collection. Um, he did Perfect Storm in this one. And he did Outbreak as well. <laughs> or Poseidon. No, Poseidon. So he did the Perfect Storm and Poseidon. All right. And my favorite Gabe Peterson film, and it's this, Enemy Mine. In the Line of Fire. And Troy. All right, after that, it's Todd Phillips. First up is a road trip. Due date. school Joker War Dogs Three Hangover films. First one was quite hilarious. The next two wasn't bad. I mean, you get to see uh, some funny stuff in all three of them, actually. So, and then we got next up after that is Roman Polanski, and he did in this one he did Frantic. All right, presume Innocent was. Pakula, I think. Alan J. Pakula, right? So, presumed innocence could be put over in that one over there, right? So, all right. We got Frantic on DVD. All right. Got the Ninth Gate. got Repulsion, The Ghost Rider, and then my favorite Polatsky film, which is The Pianist, which is not most Polanski fan's favorite film, but I like it a lot. The Tenant. And this one, many fans' favorite of his, is Rosemary's Baby. And if it's not Rosemary's Baby, then it's usually this one. Is Chinatown. Then we got Oliver Twist. And wanted and Desired. Which is what? Called Sack. All right. Called the Sack was the last. Next up after that is 
Sydney Pollock with scalp hunters. The firm. Tootsie. Bobby Deerfield. Havana. Sabrina. The way we were. Jeremiah Johnson. Three days of the Condor. Next up is Michael Powell. It starts with a wild heart. So Powell and Pressburger usually work and produce direct a lot of the films together, but I, I put it under Powell. But I could have put Pressburger as well. And we have the collector's choice of Michael Powell. All right, a matter of life and death and age of consent. All right. Then we have classic British thrillers, the Phantom Light, Red Ensign, and the Upturned Glass. All right. So the Phantom Light, the Upturned Glass, and Red Ensign. The first two were Michael Powell, directors, Studio Canals, the Tales of Hoffman. British Film Institute, The Edge of the World. <coughs> 11, di 11 disc box set of Powell and Primager movies. A Matter of Life and Death, The Red Shoes, The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp, The Canterbury Tale, I Know Where I'm Going, 49th Parallel, Battle of the River Plate, I'll Ill Met by Moonlight, they're a weird mob, the tales of Hoffman and black narcissists. All right. Let me have... The Spy in Black. Gone to Earth. Peeping Tom. Nice 
Next up after that is Auto Preminger, starting with Angel Face. Moon is blue. In harm's way. Then I gotta go down on my knees here. Because we're getting pretty low here. It's this one. Sam Rainey. So put that down. Alright, so then we have Exodus. Exodus, yes, Exodus. Not there for now. We have the British Film Institute's the Auto Preminger Film Noir collection. Fallen Angel Whirlpool and where the sidewalk ends. Uh, we got St. Joan. Carmen Jones. And last up is Alex Proyas. All right. That starts with Dark City. All the crow films on DVD. An iRobot. Knowing. That's it. Next up would be Sam Raimi. So we'll do the R's in the next video. All right. So that's the P's. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And you have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.